Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Kavya. In this video, I am going to explain the SAS Certified Specialist question number 24. If you are watching this video for the first time, please subscribe to the Great Online Training channel and like the video if you are liking the video and share the video to your friends and colleagues who need the SAS certification. Let me enter into the question number 24. The question number 24 is which program can be used to create the following output? The SAS system, the means procedure. By clearly seeing the output, we can say that it belongs to the means concept. And coming to the table, we can see here the variable called sex, which has the females and males. Females are 11 and the males are 9. Here we also have an option called the and OBS. And OBS is nothing but number of observations. Then OBS will be coming to the output window by default when we write the class statement. When we write the by statement, we will not get the output by default the an OBS. We will only get an OBS option when we write the class statement. The difference between the class and the by statement is the by statement should be sorted before the data, before the proc step. But in the class statement, there is no need to be sorted. When we write in the proc means concept. That's the difference between the class and the by variable. And here the variables are is, height and weight. And it also has the like uh, some statisticians like an mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum. When we see options, we can clearly say which is correct. And the first option is proc means data is equals to cert dot diabetes where is height and weight. Uh, let me see here, what is the var? Var is nothing but what the variables we want to keep. And here we have the statement called variable. And in the variable we have is height and weight. So the var statement we have to write is height and weight. Class is sex. Class is nothing but the sorting variable. Here we have divided by the sex, that is female and male. So we have written the class as sex variable. And output out is equals to work dot sum underscore gender. Mean is equals to average is average height and average weight and the run statement. And the second option is proc freak. It is wrong when we see it's the proc freak. Because when we see here, we can see it's the means procedure. It does not belongs to the freak procedure. So we can easily say that the option is wrong. And the next one is the proc means data is equals to cert dot diabetes no print where is height and weight class is sex output out is equals to work dot sum underscore gender and mean is equals to average is average height average weight and the run when we compare the first and the third option we can see the difference between the first and third option is the no print option when we write the no print option in the C there will be no output generated in the output window if we don't write the no print, we will get the output in the output window. Otherwise, the data will be stored in the work dot sum underscore gender. In this data, like in this option, the work dot sum underscore gender is the output. So, when we write the no print, the output will not be printed in the output window. So, the C option is also wrong. And the fourth option is both A and B. When the option B is wrong, it will not belongs to this option also. And the correct option is A because we have not written the no print option here. So by default, we will get the statisticians like N means standard deviation, minimum and maximum. And if we want the other statisticians like median and uh, lower confidence limit and upper confidence limit, we will get by writing that in the proc means step. And for more clarification, for the no print option, that is by writing the no print option and also for not writing the no print option, I will open the SAS and I will explain and the SAS software. And as we know, we have to create the nickname. He asked the cert. So cert dot, sorry cert and the data which I have in my desktop. Copy and paste it here. As we can see here, copy the path and check the log. And from this, we want the data set named diabetes. And here it is, diabetes. And 
we can see that the sex is height and weight. So, in this we want to print the output in the output window. So, prop means uh, data is equals to cert dot diabetes and uh, where is is height and weight and uh, the class statement is the sex variable and output out is equals to sum underscore gender and mean is equals to V is equals to average is average weight average height and the run statement. When we write the no print option, let's see what will happen in the problem. No print. And let me run the program. As we can see that there is no output created in the output window. And the log says three observations and six variables. And let me open the word dot sum underscore gender. And here we can see average is average weight and average height. And this is not the output when we compare to the here. This is not the output. So let me do one thing. Let me take this the no print option here. And again run the program. Let me close this data set. And again run the program. As we can see here, this is the output. When we compare this with the, the step that we have, like this one, we can see the sex variable is F and M and the N obvious option and the variable R is height and weight and N may standard deviation minimum and maximum. This is same as the table that we look in the question and this is what and if you have any doubts in this video comment in the comment box and the answer was the A. The first option is correct and if you want to learn the base SAS certification Logging into the link that was given below in the comment box. And if you like the video, please like the video and share the video to your friends and colleagues who need the SAS certification. And thank you. Thank you for watching.